Hello friends, uh, once again such a pleasure uh, to um, connect with you and continue to learn about healing and uh, what the Word of God has to tell us. And today I want to remind us about the work of the blood of Jesus. Jesus has become our redemption prize and he shed his precious blood for us and scriptures tell us that through the blood of Jesus our redemption was bought for us. Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 through 14 uh, it says he has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins. Uh, the blood of Jesus has uh, accomplished many things for us. One of the things that we want to talk about today is the fact that it has accomplished, um, it, it has bought our redemption. And it's beautiful to see how God decided or God chose to send his only son to shed his blood. Uh, in the book of Hebrews, we uh, learn that uh, God did not pick, you know, bulls and calves and uh, other sacrifices. Instead, he sent his only beloved son who came uh, to make that final sacrifice for us and he shed his blood and his blood now has bought our redemption. When we talk about redemption, uh, it, it is an emphasis that now we belong to our master, the Lord Jesus Christ and everything that is, is a part of us is legally now in the kingdom of light and which is why we can stand against the works of the evil one when he wants to put sickness on our bodies, when he wants to put, you know, uh, some form of, uh, um, uh, he wants to afflict our souls, he wants to afflict our minds and our emotions. God wants shalom for the whole person uh, as, as we uh, study in Isaiah 53 verses uh, 4 and 5. And so we can speak shalom over our whole person because the blood of Jesus has redeemed us. So how do we apply the blood of Jesus and, and this redemptive work of the blood uh, upon our lives? In Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11, we see that they overcame him, the devil, by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to death. So uh, there is an overcoming through the blood of the lamb. This overcoming is by us proclaiming what the blood of Jesus has done for us. So when I want to apply the blood over my life, when I want to uh, declare the power of the blood over my life, I need to speak of what the blood has done for, uh, for me. And so when I pray for my healing, you know, I could say something like uh, my body is healed because the blood of Jesus has redeemed me. Uh, Satan, you have no right over my life because the blood of Jesus has redeemed me. Every part of me belongs to Jesus uh, and, and I, I thrive. Uh, in health, you know, I have divine health. You know, we can speak and make all these declarations and talk about what the blood of Jesus has actually done for us. And so when we talk about it, when we believe it and we speak about it, we will see the manifestation of health and healing, you know, uh, being restored to us. And so I just want to encourage us friends, uh, know that you are bought by the blood of Jesus. Know that you are redeemed by the blood of Jesus and because you now are the Lord's, you have divine health and healing. So let's stand against you know, any form of uh, affliction that the enemy uh, wants to put on us and let's continue to declare that we are victorious, we are overcomers. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the redemptive work of the blood. Thank you for the blood, Lord, which forgives us, which cleanses us and Father, which speaks uh, uh, of us belonging to you, God. Father, even as we meditate uh, on the work of the blood and declare it, Lord, we, we know that the enemy is defeated, O oh God. And Father, we just claim that victory over uh, each one of us and our health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.